This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I just got a bunch of really interesting locks from YouTube user Urban Hawk, including this Japanese rim cylinder I have in the vise. This is from the Lockman Japan Company. The model is the Mega Cross, and it has one really unique feature that we're going to have to deal with while picking. If we look at this key, we can see there are five standard pins exactly where we would expect them to be. And then on the side, there are another four pins. It's actually more from the corner of the lock that these four pins come. And these are also active pins. So not only do we have five pins up top, we have four pins on the side, and there are security pins in both locations. So it should be a really interesting lock to pick. Let's get some tension in here and see what it takes to get this guy open. I'm gonna start on the dimple pins with this normal little offset flag. One is loose, two is loose, three is loose, four is loose, five, gotta click out of him. Back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. Okay, nothing else on those pins. Let's uh, check the side pins. I'm switching over to this standard hook in 25 thousandths. One is springy, so is two, three, and okay, four might be binding. I'm getting a little bit of counter rotation. We got him set. Let's go back to the beginning of these side pins. Okay, counter rotation on one, got him set. Kind of rotation on two, got him set, and nothing on three. Let's check these over one more time. I think that's it for now on those side pins. Let's go back to the dimple pins and see what we've got now. Okay, counter rotation on one, set him. Counter rotation on two, set him. Three, getting some counter rotation, set number three. Same on four. And counter rotation on five, and we just opened up. Okay, so a really interesting little pick. Security pins in both locations. Let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. Okay, to get this guy apart, it looks like we have a bunch of Phillips screws. So let's get a screwdriver here and start getting them out. I guess I ought to get an electric screwdriver for, for locks like this. Okay, and you can see right away we have a very unusual setup. We actually have two Bibles in here and they're both very short. So to get this lock apart further, it looks like we need our clip remover. I often get questions about where I get this clip remover. If you are looking for one, just Google Huck H-U-K Lock Disassembly Kit and you can find this clip remover as part of that kit um, in, on a number of websites. It should be pretty easy to find. Okay, we got that clip off. Let me get a follower and the key, and hopefully we'll be able to get this apart. I'm gonna have to pay a lot of attention to making sure I put the follower in in such a way that none of the pins can fall out. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, this is not coming apart easily and I suspect it's because something's falling in 
the little gap. Let's try this one more time, and after that, maybe we may have to resort to some shims. Nope, okay, got it, great. Okay, let's dump our main bank of key pins out first. One is standard, so is two, three, four, and five. And let me arrange these. And what I'm going to do is probably set up the side pins right on top of the main dimple pins. So side pin one, two, three, and four. And they look exactly like the other pins, no difference at all. Okay, now for getting these main pins out. And I think these are the main ones up top, and these are our side pins. So we should be able to get, here we go, here's one of our top pins, and whoa, guy got away, but it's a mushroom pin. Let's get that spring out of the way. Now our side pin. And it's another little mushroom. Okay, another tiny little mushroom. I'm guessing that's what we're gonna find all the way through here. Yep, same thing in number three. Seems like our number three spring is stuck in place, so I'll just leave him there. Number three pin on the top is a mushroom. Okay, number four, another mushroom. So is five, let's see, our final pin, yet another mushroom. So no standard pins at all in this lock. Let me get a magnet here to see if these are steel anti-drill pins. And it appears that they are. So with all that steel in there, you would have a really, really tough time drilling this guy out. Let me get all of these things arranged, and then I'll give you a close-up of everything. Okay. Good at our main dimple pins, you can see all standard key pins in steel and then we have five steel mushroom pins for our drivers. And then the exact same setup on those side pins, all standard steel key pins and steel mushroom pins. Here's a better look at that key. You can see we have our normal dimple cuts and then from the corner, another four cuts. Moving over to the core. Let's see, here's our main five dimple cuts, and then off to the side we have those four side pins. And not a terribly difficult keyway as you can see. I'll show you the inside of this core as well. Nothing terribly interesting, we just have our five main pins, and then off to the side another four pins, and it looks like behind those side pins we have a little ball bearing detent, probably to give it some bias toward the, the closed position. Okay, so that's all I have for you on this Lockman Mega Cross Rim Cylinder. Urban Hawk, thank you very much for this lock. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.